Greetings, it's Adam with the Rata Non Grata, and I'm back with some Atari Jaguar uh, gaming. And this game is just called Maze, coded and designed by Dr. Typo. I've covered his games before. The one that perhaps has gotten the most attention is either Fallen Angels or Tube. Uh, I've done Tube myself. Um, but here's a new 3D game that he just calls Maze. Uh, I would think, yeah, you know, maybe use the, the old 1990s cyber word. That was kind of a hype <laughs> word back then. I mean, we had Cyber Morph, right? But uh, not many. I think that's the only other Atari Jaguar game that used the word cyber in it, but it used to be a thing. And so, why not call it Cyber Maze? But anyways, this is an engine he designed himself and uses flat shaded polygons. Now, some of the uh, odd um, ghosting, I think, might just be due to the, uh, the signal being converted to work on a modern TV. I haven't tried this out yet on my CRT, uh, but I would like to do that. Just Sometimes you do get those weird effects on the modern displays and equipment and all that. But uh, yeah, all you have to do is reach the end of the maze. I'm uh, kind of not sure why he had these pointless diamond things around there other than maybe just to add a little variety to it. You know, when you come across those X's, you need to find the correct color key to be able to unlock them. Uh, you have to jump over the lava, which would be those. This would be interesting if you could do some textures on the lava without hitting the frame rate too hard. <laughs> um, but that's a neat little idea. It'd be interesting to see where he takes this, if he adds a lot more mazes or not. But it's always nice to see somebody and uh, creating some 3D stuff for the Jaguar, which is obviously not the easiest thing to be doing. Of course, I commend anybody who designed something on the Jaguar, uh, especially where, given how difficult it is. Of course, we have more tools these days than we used to. Uh, although, as far as I read on Atari Age, he just coded everything himself, his own tools and everything. And so, um, I'll also have a video of a, another game he just calls Shoot 'em Up. Maybe you should call it Cyber Shooter. Hey, why not, right? Let's do the Cyber Series. <laughs> or at least for anything 3D. I guess it'd also be interesting to see if he would be able to add, like I said, textures or on the red lines, if you could do like a slightly raised 3D object, but that might hurt the frame rate too much, perhaps. But uh, what do you think of this homebrew game? Let me know in the comments below and I'll shut up so you can enjoy the music.